Yeah, so I'm here in the Burrup Peninsula. Um, this is the site of the um, gas plant that's been um, here for quite some time now. Just down here I'm standing at a, a site, an ancient rock art site. There's etchings from thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago in this site. This is the gas plant, an example of what they proposed to do at James Price Point in the Kimberley um, in another incredibly sacred part of our world. So as we turn around here, this is what we'll see. Let's climb up. So there's a beautiful piece of art just to my left. Um, I won't film the art out of respect for local mob here, but um, here you can see the, the creek line where this where the people would have come up through to do this art. I'm sure it was flowing back then. And then at the end you can see the monster, which lies there now. No signage anywhere coming into this place. There was no signage, no um, nothing really paying respect to what it is. Um, and it's yeah, it's it's pretty sad and uh, a sign of what they want to do in the Kimberley. So I don't know if you can hear what what I can hear now, but. sounds like a war zone there's these weird sirens going and and uh, this thing's just massive fireball sounds like 15 fighter jets um, no respect paid at all to these people for, for what this is you know thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago beautiful beach down there and uh, and just, just, yeah, it's just horror. It's really pretty devastating to stand here. It's just, it's, it's really strange. Yeah, it's fucked up. And there, that's where the site is. The thing's just radical. It's just pouring. There's so much energy, you can feel the country shake, you know, the whole seabed would be shaking, I would imagine, you know, it's just draining this place, the energy of this place has been sucked out of that thing, unbelievable. Irreplaceable. Please help reserve this site for the future. This little sign here is the only um, acknowledgement of Aboriginal people that I've seen today. From that site over there, you can see the big flame. This is another site here. It's all um, art sites. And yeah, this is the only acknowledgement. There's nothing about the people in their story. Just that little piece there. Um, yeah, really interesting. So there's where we've been here. There's a story. Um, of, and we can't get to that site because it's apparently it's under security camera now and it's fenced off but 
I guess there was a, a place where they wanted to put some industry and there was these big um, big carvings, uh, rock engravings that were faces. I haven't actually seen them myself, but I have seen a photo of them and they're piled up in a pile. So they physically just bulldozed them, moved them out of the way to uh, to go ahead with what they, they wanted to do here industry-wise. These things, no one knows how old they are. Um, and uh, apparently they said that they'd, uh, when they were finished, they'd put them back. That was their, their point. Um, so yeah, this has been a really interesting day. Um, and I thought it was kind of ironic to read that sign back there that said, these Aboriginal sites are irreplaceable. Yet they uh, they go and physically move rocks that have been engraved for thousands and thousands of years in order to to cash in. Barrett Peninsula.